What is going on, Marv Meisters? Frank Meister here. Thought I'd jump on here and do something real quick to keep my and Marv's uh, subscribers and members a little bit entertained. Well, today I want to get on here and talk about the civil suits that's been going on, uh, especially with Toe Vesenby, uh, Drew Yoder, and some other uh, law enforcement officials for excessive force. We know that two, at least two people have filed lawsuits for excessive force in Carroll County. Well, I was just fortunate enough to receive some information that another lawsuit was filed today or sometime here recently, I should say, and we'll get to that here in just a moment, uh, by former Major Mike Thomas. If you all don't remember who Mike Thomas is, he was a major for the Carroll County Sheriff's Department underneath Tobe Lesenby. And they had the general election this past May, I should say. Yes, May. And Mike Thomas put his name in the hat as a uh, candidate to run for sheriff. Well, unfortunately, Mike Thomas lost the election to uh, Mr. Uh, Tony Liggett. And so now, apparently, Mike Thomas has filed a lawsuit against Carroll County, Tobe Lesenby, and maybe another name or two in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the information that was sent to me. Y'all give me just a second here. And I will pull it up. And one second here. Ladies and gentlemen, I go on the emails and pull this information up. Oops, excuse me, sorry about that. All right. I received this information today and it is a lawsuit that has been filed by Mike Thomas, plaintiff, Carroll County, Indiana, Carroll County Sheriff's Office, Tobe Lesenby and his individual capacity of official capacity as Sheriff of Carroll County, Indiana defendant. And I'll read off everything it says on here. It says, come, on, come now the plaintiff Michael Thomas to thereafter Thomas by, through his counsel, Nicholas A. Snow of Harris Law Firm, PC, and is for his complaint for damages against the defendant. Now offers the following. Number one, this action is brought against Carroll County, Indiana, therefore Carroll County, the Carroll County Sheriff's Office, therefore Carroll County Sheriff's Office, and Tobe Lesenby. In both his individual capacity, his official capacity as elected sheriff of Carroll County, Indiana. The jurisdiction exists for swaying to 28 U.S.C. 81331 and 1342 based on 42 U.S.C. 1983 and questions of federal constitutional law for abbreviations of the plaintiff's civil liberties. Supplemental jurisdiction over plaintiff state law claims in pursuant to 28 U.S.C. 1367. The unlawful actions described here and were committed wholly in the North District of Indiana within the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. Accordingly, the United States District Court for the Northern, Northern, let me get to the next one, sorry guys. Uh, inbox. Carroll County, Indiana is located within the Northern District of Indiana. The Carroll County Sheriff's Office is a county lawful law enforcement agency located in the city of Delphi, Carroll County, Indiana. All at the times relevant here do. Tobe Lesenby was the elected Carroll County Sheriff of Indiana. 
Carroll County, Indiana, and the highest ranking officer in the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. At all times relevant here too, Michael Thomas was an officer and employee of the Carroll County Sheriff's Office and resides in the township of Bring Bringhurst, Carroll County, Indiana. Thomas has a faithful, productive, and committed officer for the Carroll County Sheriff's Office with no history, history of discipline, discipline, discipline or malfeasance since 1997. During that time, he has served under the administration of four elected sheriffs, including Lesenby. Lesenby first took office as elected sheriff of Carroll County on July 1, 2015, after being elected in the 2014 general election. After taking office on January 1, 2015, Lesenby promoted Thomas to the position of chief deputy, the second highest ranking position in the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. As a result of this promotion, Thomas received a pay increase, additional authority pursuant to standard department policies, and a desirable Monday through Friday day schedule. Thomas continue, continued to serve as chief deputy through the entire first term of Lesenby and continued to that role when Lesenby was reelected in 2018 in the general election. At some point after the 2018 general election, Lesenby approached Thomas and stated that he had heard that another Carroll County Sheriff's officer was giving, going to run for Sheriff of Carroll County in the 2022 primary, primary election. And that if the officer was elected, the officer had promised Lesenby that he would be appointed Chief Deputy at the time. Okay, let's go to the next one. Thomas is subsequently elected to run for Sheriff of Carroll County in the 2022 primary election. Lesenby was not eligible for election due to term limits, but gave indications that he favored another candidate, Tony Liggett, over Thomas. Upon Thomas' information and belief, Liggett is the officer who re referred to in paragraph 11 of, the, of this complaint who promised Lesenby that he would be appointed chief deputy if he was elected. Upon Thomas's information and belief, Lesenby and others in the Carroll County Sheriff's Office did not approve of Thomas running for, for office in part because Thomas had made suggestions and offered assistance in the investigation of a high profile child homicide investigation, which were overruled and which Lesenby and others in the Carroll County Sheriff's Office feared would become publicized as a result of the campaign and or Thomas' potential election. In the course of the 2022 primary election campaign, <coughs> excuse me, Lesenby and other officers engaged in a pattern of harassment, employment-related activity adverse to Thomas' in interest, including, but not limited to the following, removing Thomas from high-profile criminal investigation, posting pictures in the workplace of other officers wearing clothing that indicated their support for Liggett, refused to associate with Thomas and avoiding contact with him to the extent that Thomas became concerned at times that he would ha have to have no backup if he needed to call for it, making negative, degrading, and defaming comments about Thomas in conversation over the internal computer network chat, which were visible or audible to other officers in the department, including Thomas. Overruling decisions that Thomas made pursuant to the authority associated associated with his chief deputy position. Subvertently, Thomas Thomas's authority as chief deputy by going over his head to obtain authority directly from Lesenby, placing Thomas in supervision of the Animal Control Division of the Sheriff, Carroll County Sheriff's Office, but then overruling virtually every decision Thomas made or action Thomas took, and 
removing Thomas from his position on the CPS Review Board and replacing him with Liggett. On May 3rd, 2022, Liggett defeated Thomas in the Republican primary election for Carroll County Sheriff. Three days later, after approximately seven years, six months of service in the position without discipline, malfeasance, or any indication of poor performance, Lesabee notified Thomas that he had been demoted from his position as chief deputy during the conversation Lesabee mentioned recent events as a factor in his decision. Thomas was sub 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 subsequently placed on 12 hours rotating shifts and would serve as a patrol officer at that time. Thomas observed that a number of officers within the Carroll County Sheriff's Office appeared to have known about the pending demotion prior to his occurrence to its occurrence or at least prior to thomas having been made aware of it at the time thomas was demoted from the chief deputy position liggett was appointed to replace him following and even prior to the announcement of his intention to run for office as carroll county sheriff thomas has been directly and intentionally targeted for not supporting liggett whom Lesnabe has supported Liggett, Liggett's own bid for office. Wherefore, Thomas repeatedly demanded comp uh, compensatory damages to compensate him for damages and losses. He losses his separate award of attorney fees pursuant to 42 U.S.C. 1988 and all other legal or equitable relief which the court determines he is entitled in the circumstances jury demand plaintiffs request this matter be tried by jury i hereby certify on october 25th 2025 i electronically filed for going with the clerk of the court of the united states district for the northern district of indiana by using the cmecf system I, I certify that all all participants will receive services through the cm or ecf system nicholas snow attorney of law so there you go guys to add on top of uh another civil suit going on in carroll county plus the demise of Libby and abby and the floor girls what else can go on in Carroll County at this point in time? You know, it's getting a little bit ridiculous that this is all happening when there's uh, two homicides, six girls whose lives were just snuffed out, and nothing's being said about that. But we can find all kinds of shit about the civil suits going on against Carroll County. But I just wanted to jump on here real quick, guys, and give you an update on what's going on with uh, the civil suits going on in Carroll County. Like I said, it brought up in the, the complaint form about Mike Thomas was one of the chief de uh, detectives, I guess you would call him, involved with the Delphi case. And that's why I brought it up. So uh, there'll be more content coming out. The more and more I keep watching, I keep finding more things to talk about. So you guys stay tuned, we'll be back. Sooner or later, I know Marv's working on a few things. So, uh, you know what time it is, people. It's peace out. One love, y'all. Take care. Love you guys.